Hey Nailtubers, and welcome to you if you're new. I'm going to show you how I did this pastel teal set that I think is so pretty and it has me so captivated. And I'm going to explain a few things because some of you know about my computer and editing issues right now. So first of all, this set was done in segments over two days, guys. I know, right? I should say there was so many interruptions. First was no sooner than I prepped my nails and put the tips on. So you might notice I had forgotten the dehydrator and primer by the time I came back and started with the clear. But I do have videos on proper nail prep basics that go through the primaries step by step. And from there, you'll be able to identify some modifications that you might see in other content that you watch. And while I'm on this subject, I'm kind of glad this offered segue to say this because I know it doesn't come up often, but nail enhancements are to always start as a dry manicure. So if you or a client are having service breakdown, that should be the very first thing to consider. This does include if you or your client washed your hands or if there was any exposure to moisture. Oh, and I think the editing is a little better today. Just a little. <laughs> this clear is Vanessa Nails, and I like her acrylic powders. In fact, I'm thinking about doing some glass nails using this. This color is Mint Crush by iJo Beauty, and I had a candy version of it that I made a while back, which is basically more like a see-through version, and I did the pinky and index with it. Yeah, I decided to switch up my usual pattern of accent nails, <laughs> but in this set, they're all going to be so pretty. I wanted a couple of nails to have a lighter, like a more frosted glass sort of look, which is also what triggered the idea for some glass nails too. Now, I want to thank you personally. I know I did a community post, but thank you for your support and being at my lives. I've been enjoying them so much. And what I appreciate on top of it all is that they weren't even pre-announced. All of them have just been like spontaneous. And if you miss them, I hope you can make it to the, any upcoming ones because you'll get to experience a more candid side of me. Because when you're doing videos, especially like PR, we're a little more attentive and focused. I will be doing more on a regular basis, but I'll also still record for when I'm working so I can have things to post. It's rather uncomfortable for me to keep my hand in certain positions, though doing the index finger is the easiest to me. <laughs> but you'll see me trying all kinds of ways to hold my hands and ended up out of frame at times. Because let me tell you, it's not hard to forget about the camera when you're focused. And the original solid color will go on the ring, middle, and thumb.
so this color has a touch of shimmer it's so pretty but I do admit this was one I had to feel out so I worked it wet and I'm glad I did because it set a little fast it's not that it's a bad acrylic powder I do believe it's because the shimmer in it makes it a drier acrylic in fact it was clogging my brush there's more to acrylic than just learning to lay it as I mentioned before all acrylic powders aren't the same oh and another thing to add about the lives my son said he really enjoyed doing the comment readings so you know what that means yes he'll be back for that too so I want to ask you the approximate time I've been doing them is when he gets in from work which is like 6 to 7 p.m. I think in one of them I got started and the computer crashed then he came in so I can do that too I can start and he can read when he gets here so if around 6.30 ish works for you do me a favor and put that in the comments 6.30 Once the color was laid, another interruption. Cooking dinner, guys. But the acrylic needed to dry anyway, and I was careful to use only one hand while I was cooking. Oh, and I did the hibachi dinner here at home. And I swear, I'm getting so close to my favorite restaurant's flavors. <laughs> when I came back, I started with some mylar flakes. Now at first I was just using monomer because that kind of worked when I did the foil but then I don't know if you'll be able to tell because it started getting choppy at some point and the camera decided to turn the frame focus on its own so I do apologize for that. But you'll see me starting to add the acrylic powder. After I recorded this part and noticed how it was turned when loading it into the camera, I just decided to go to bed to keep from getting upset because it's been a whole ordeal with this computer stuff. But before I did though, I did cap with clear because the mylar flakes needed to be secured. So it was the next day doing the freehand stuff. So it's not really that it took me two days to do this set. I just think I came back to this set around four or five times. I almost took them off and said forget it. But the design kept staying in my head at the time. I got up the next morning and filed and shaped. And from there... I all of a sudden couldn't remember the design anymore. So that was another interruption. I had to take a break. But this time it was by choice. So I went ahead and had breakfast. <laughs>
Then all of a sudden, I started pulling out the silver chrome gel polish and I added some edging in those filigree type patterns to the index and pinky. And I cured that for 30 seconds. In the meantime, most of you know I often love doing offset work and decided to start with some beautiful stones, purposely not centered, and I used McCart Bling Gel. Then for some reason, I got the bright idea to color over some gray roses with the chrome too. And I cured that for 30 seconds. And I love how they turned out. Then I used the chrome again, but I created some wispy handwork just in some random patterns to tie the ring and middle fingers in with the pinky and index. Then the patterns were cured for 30 seconds, so you might see that later. I can't remember if I do it now or if I did it later. I do the stones for the middle finger. And I was checking the alignment from all angles, <laughs> all over the place. I did forget to lay matte top coat on the ring finger, so I go back to it. Then I'll apply it to the middle finger too. And for me, top coats are cured for 60 seconds. And to me, the matte finish created such a nice contrast with the chrome. Then glossy top coat for the frosted nails, the index and pinky. Which each also got one of the chrome roses. And I am crazy over how these turned out. Hit the like button if you like them too. 
If you'd like to see my prep videos or more acrylic nail designs, click one of these links. And if you're new, remember to subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll know when I upload next. I appreciate each and every one of you and look forward to seeing you in the next one. Much love.